So uh, it's my pleasure today. As you see, I've got uh, I wear two hats. Um, I'm a professor of computer science at the Halsey University, which is on the east coast of Canada, and uh, recently stepped down as uh, dean after seven years of being the, the dean. And while I'm on sabbatical, uh, Shalini has recruited me to uh, be the chief executive officer and professor at this new center that, that we're creating. Let's see if I've got the right buttons here. Okay, so this is a, a quote. Uh, Data is the oil of the 21st century. Now, I've looked around, this quote, this phrase shows up quite often in, in the in the literature. And trying to figure out who said it first is really difficult. But as far as I can track it down, it was uh, Peter uh, Sondergaard, Senior VP and Global Head of Research at Gartner. So I think that uh, I think many of us will, will agree that this oil is in fact, uh, sorry, data is the oil of the 21st century. So of course, you can't have a theorem without maybe a corollary or two. So I added, one day we'll run out of oil, we'll never run out of data, okay? <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just couldn't resist that, okay? Because my whole life has always been about data. And there's just more and more of it all the time. So in data analytics, data analytics is, goes right across our entire economy. In this uh, uh, graphic here, I have assumed we have, in this case, four pillars or uh, sectors of our economy. I've got ICT, manufacturing, fishing, transportation, whatever you have. The thing with uh, data analytics is, is that it goes, it's not just a vertical in itself that people are creating an industry around data analytics but it's a, it's a horizontal that cuts across everything that we do. And in fact, in North America, I don't know the Indian statistics, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're very similar. In North America, the unemployment among data scientists is less than 1%. They're talking about needing 1.5 million new data scientists uh, over the next two years. So this is a very important thing that we have to do to keep our economies uh, moving along at, at a progressive clip. So this brings us to uh, Sanabi, the Center of Excellence um, in Data Analytics and Business Insights. The vision statement for this new center is to be a leading center of excellence in data analytics and business insights in India, particularly in Karnataka, with a strong international recognition. The mission is to create and disseminate the creation and dissemination of knowledge in data analytics and business insights. So creation of, uh, of knowledge is done through research and study. Dissemination is through teaching and working with, uh, with industry and uh, getting our ideas out. It's not just publishing, it's actually dissemination to me is uh, as much or more about teaching and getting good students, well trained up in these uh, disciplines, to go out and, and uh, make a difference. The goals are to increase the level of expertise in data analytics and business insights across all sectors of the economy, to be a focal point and center of expertise in India, particularly in Karnataka, and to be recognized internationally. So that's the vision. The, uh, uh, the mission and the goals of our new center. And it'll be up to all of us over the next uh, while to, to develop these, to develop the strategic plan around these and, and to move it forward. The objectives are to enhance the current, these are things that we want to do now, to enhance the current programs offered at Myra to offer specialization in data analytics and business insult. It, uh, Business insight. So, um, uh, a couple of us, uh, Sudi here in particular, has been working with me on curriculum development for this new specialization. We also want to offer a certificate program for industry because, particularly, I know that at, at home in Canada, a lot of 
small and medium enterprises don't have the knowledge base and resources to do the data analytics that will actually help their, uh, their companies. So the objective there is, uh, is to create the uh, uh, certification uh, program so that people can come in and gain that knowledge. And thirdly, to actively pursue research partnerships with industry, government, and other academic institutions. So if you look at this uh, graphic, which is taken from an OECD uh, report on data-driven innovation, if you start here, business and industry generate lots of documents. <clears throat> they go into a big data lake, you could call it, but without analytics, it's just a bunch of bits and bytes. And through data analytics, we gain insights which increase our knowledge base so that we can then make uh, take action. What we want are insights that are actionable so that we can, uh, starting well with this data, going through the analytics cycle, gaining these insights, and then be able to take action. So here, uh, this is the analytics uh, side of the house. This is the uh, industry government science side of the house. And here is Sadavi in the middle, in the overlap, so the big, your, uh, your uh, Venn diagram. So Sadavi, the work that we have to do in Sadavi and the courses that we'll be teaching and the research that we'll be doing will, in fact, be at this intersection of the analytics and industry. So using, because we have to use data analytics, have knowledge of the application area of business, and then to, to uh, have actual insights so that we can actually make a difference. Uh, the end of this month, the provost and vice president academic will be visiting Myra from Dalhousie University uh, for five days. Um, and during that time, we'll be signing an MOU uh, with uh, Myra. Dalhousie, linking the two. So the specific partners at Dalhousie are the Faculty of Computer Science and the Faculty of Management. So this is a relationship uh, that uh, we can build on and develop this international recognition. So back just to finish off, I'd like to just repeat the uh, vision statement. The vision statement for Sadabi is to be a leading center of excellence in data analytics and business insights in India particularly Karnataka, and with strong international recognition. Thank you.